Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about putting these fuel tanks in. There's nothing very hard about it, really. It's just you have to know how to do it. The first thing you do, you remember we talked about how we had put these on, we take them back, we take the nuts back off of this one, and we take this wire and we slide it. It'll go as far up until it touches the front of the nose right there. And then we do the same thing on the small wire here. We, we loosen those up and we take this wire pretty much completely out. You see it comes through here and then there's a hole. Uh, we had to drill this hole in here. Mine, this last kit came with a hole pre-drilled, but it wasn't drilled out to a half of an inch. So I had to drill it out a little bit more for that, for the nuts and all to come back through and come through that hole and then remove the wire, you know, pull it all the way back out of the way of the fuel tank bay. Uh, one of the things you want to do, these are the braces right here that we put in. If you follow my forum post, I talk about not uh, putting the, these ends here on yet. You can install these sides and tighten them up with the nuts and small screws on this side that's getting screwed into here. Don't uh, do those yet because what happens, we have to flex this rib and the number one rib just a little bit to get the tanks in usually because they're going in at an angle. So this lets you actually kind of move the ribs uh, over out of the way as you push the tanks in. So with the small wire pulled back it completely out of the way, the big wire just kind of back out of the way a little bit uh, as far as we can. Then we're gonna take, you can see the, the tubing they tell you in the manual is correct. We're gonna take some, some tubing here, so some the white tubing is what goes where the small wire is, and there's some black tubing where the big wire goes. And then just be sure you're getting the small wire on top of the, the white uh, plastic on top of the black plastic, as we've done in the other bays. Remember, the small wires are going on top of the bigger diameter wires. Go ahead and slide in back through, get them into place. And I don't tighten them up yet, I'll do that last. So those are there. So you've got those out of the way, you've got your plastic in the way. I check all my hose clamps, make sure they're uh, reasonably tight before I put them in. Uh, slides, pick up a few, pick up the fuel tanks, slide them on to this big wire that'll be sticking out here. You just pick the wire up and slide it into the black plastic, put the tanks in. Like I say, you'll probably have to pry and push a little bit. I just take it and I push it against this rib and then I just come over to this side and I kind of pull pull and push at the same time pull the rib out and push the uh, tanks until they pop in it's where it catches it on the fittings so no big deal just push it over the, out of the way you'll probably have to take this is the ground wire tab they're very soft you can take it and just push it back out of the way and pull it back out later the thing with our i guess maybe i'll try to do this in stages but the, i think one of the biggest tricks that i learned at the factory was to put a lot of weight on the tanks You've got the straps underneath, which you want to check and make sure they're all nice and straight. You obviously don't want any kinks in them. The hard part of this is just getting these bolts through and the nuts tightened. And I've had people say they went out and got longer bolts and they just were too short. Uh, they're actually not too short. They're actually the right length. And in fact, you won't to torque these nuts, you'll actually bottom them out. You'll screw them all the way down on here until they bottom out the threads. There's no torquing, you tighten them all the way up. And you'll think that's pretty much impossible, but it'll work. But anyway, weights, everything you can get a hold of. My shooting bags with lead weights, some more lead weights. I had some diving lead weights and I still wanted more, so I got my vise that was loose and I put that up there. Put them up there, get the tanks in place, Make it, get yourself a nice even margin down through here down through here. So you got the same distance, you know, away from each rib. Also, you're looking at the height of the tanks here and here. There's gonna be tank covers go over the top, but just make them, you know, where they're nice, even fit for now. Take these straps and I just kinda, kinda mold them a little bit over the tanks. Make sure they're uh, in the right position to start with. And then, like I say, this one is going to come up and be right by the tank lid. It'll be just almost touching on the tank lid. So get those all in position. And then what, what's going to happen is the, the bolts that we're using are going to come up from the bottom. Okay, so, so that's hard to start with, getting them up from the bottom. So I take a... I'm trying to do this with one hand while I have this camera and phone. Basically, what I do is I have a piece of duct tape. This is what we're going to do. You see this duct tape? 
And I'm gonna take these pliers and get down just far enough there. And then I'm gonna go in here. And I, can't, I just can't do it with one hand, as you can see. But you're gonna take the pliers and then you're gonna work it so you can get that bolt up through this first thing here. Once you get it up through, you can grab it, pull it up, take that duct tape, like I've done here, or a little bit of masking tape, and then just put it around the bolt just to hold it so it doesn't slip back down and fall out while you're doing something else. The next thing I do, is I take my safety wire pliers and I take some 41 thousandths, the thickest, you know, big thick safety wire, 0 .41, 0 .041. And what I do is I put it in a, just make me a loop with it and get it clamped into the end. I don't twist or do anything, just give me a little loop. And then I take this loop just like I've done here. And you see, I looped it over the bolt head at the bottom. Then I just loop it. To start with, you won't even be able to get this bolt head through here, okay? Um, you'll just, get, but you'll be able to squeeze it with your hands enough to get the bolt head up in here to hold it in place. Just take that loop and put it up here. Then just squeeze with your fingers as best you can and then tighten the safety wire up a little bit. You cannot move these straps with this safety wire. It'll break every time. But see, it's holding it in place because we're gonna have to come back and put, you know, our uh, washer and our uh, nut on here. And another problem is that this is, this this bolt head will wanna push against the strap so you really can't even put the nut head on it because it's too close. So later what we're gonna do is get a little something and pry out. You can take a screwdriver, you know, later and we can pry that, we can go over here and pry the bolt, you know, out and out enough just to where it moves over enough to where we can get the nut started on it. But you see what I've done here? And then I take, once you get the bolt head up there just a little ways, you know, hold what you got and then just start to twist your safety wire pliers. Spin them while you hold what you got. Then I take some big channel lock pliers or channel pliers like this. Then I just put one side, do it on the other side. It's kind of hard with just a one hand. But we're going to take it, see, and it's just going to go under the bolt head down here. And to start with, just put it over the top here and squeeze. And as you get a little bit, then just then hold it and twist your safety wire pliers and tighten that wire up. Then you can, once you get the bolt head through like that, then you can move it over to the edge, see, like this. And then just squeeze like that, see, I'm doing and put more pressure on it with one hand and then pull tight with your safety wire on the other, okay? So do that until you got enough thread showing to where you can then, you know, come back and like I was talking about, you'll have to pry, you got a washer that's go on to go on there and, the, and this little bitty L3 nut. But you see right now you won't be able to start it, plus you won't be able to get the washer on it until you get that bolt away from there. So that's where you'll just take something and pry it out, get you something so you're not damaging the fuel tank, of course. But take it and just go down, go down here and just just put a little bit. It doesn't take much, just enough to pull that bolt. It's plenty. There's plenty of room in here. See, you just have to move it over a little bit. So just take it up here, move it over a little bit, and then get it started. Then do all of them like that. The only one that's kind of tough is over in this corner because this straps in the way. So when you do this one over here. You just have to kind of get in there and, and wrestle around with the pliers until you can get it get it done. Then what I do is I take, now when you go get ready to tighten it, you got to hold the nut head right here. So you can see what I've done. I just took a, it's a three eight. So I just took a three eight and I just bent it. So then what I can do is take it and go up like this you know, or like this, I guess on the open end side, lock it in and that way I can hold, hold it good while I then come back up with a little socket wrench, quarter inch socket wrench and tighten these down. And like I say, you're gonna tighten them all the way down until they bottom out, okay? Once, and that's it, that's really, it isn't very hard uh, once you do it like that. The safety wire, you know, is the trick. Uh, once you get them all completely bolted down, then you're gonna come back and you're gonna tighten these back up again to where you've got the distances that we talked about on the other video. The, uh, the one inch is what I used. This one's actually 0.985 that I wrote over here on the side of the spar. And you're gonna tighten these up until you get the exact same measurement from there to out here and then double nut it and then uh, 
mark it and you're and you're done and that's really all there is to it it's it's pretty much uh that simple but that's the hard part is getting those on there let me know if you have any questions